Studying abroad um, can be done in very different ways. I myself um, studied abroad as a young person and I saw different approaches to it. If you come to Tuscania, it has that side to it that you're in a small town. Small towns um, allow you more to integrate into the real life of the town. There's not, not many tourists here. There are not many other students. So when you come here, you can quickly find out about the real life of the town. I think coming here, I, I honestly didn't know about its size or um, like where it was located or things like that. And being here in this place, it gave me a really deep perspective on Italian culture, you know, being outside of a city or just places that have been more impacted by cultures outside of Italy, um, things like that. So being able to be in Tuscania where I was, where I'm closer to, it feels like the origins, it was, it was really incredible. Courses we offer in Tuscania all have that character that LDM wishes as its guideline the practical side of learning is never forgotten. And in particular, in Tuscania, what we offer are courses closely connected to the historical context here, um, Etruscans, Romans, the Middle Ages. They are very much alive in every street, in every corner of this town. You can see a sarcophagus within walking distance everywhere you are in this town. On the other hand, we offer practical courses with an academic aspect. I really love cooking class because back in the States I was a cook and one of the reasons why I wanted to come to Italy is because of the rich culinary culture that they have here and I was able to experience so much of it in that class. I get to bring that back home, share it with my family, share it with other students, share it with even the other cooks and bring that culture of Italy to them, which I think is a very important thing to me. And then even some of the academic things, having the sustainability, thinking about that, sharing with my family and with other students, make them aware. Being able to go out into the field in a lot of the classes that we had and, you know, actually go to olive orchards or cheese factory farms, but they weren't factories, like going to somebody's house and they're making cheese there or going to somebody's house again, but it's actually the bakery that a lot of people buy their, uh, their fresh breads and things from. It, it changed my perspective on, you know, something that I've studied for three and a half years now. Fridays, um, LDM has Friday trips that we go to visit neighboring towns around Tuscania so that you can learn more about the Viterbo province area in the Lazio region. So we visited Viterbo, Marta, Montefiascone, um, Civita Vecchia, amazing looking towns with amazing architecture. Um, they're usually academic type visits but not always we always make space to have fun and just enjoy ourselves on the weekends apart from friday i didn't really do much traveling um i really chose this experience to be a part of the community and be considered a local at a certain point which i can proudly say i probably am at this point <laughs> so we had the opportunity to go every week to the elementary school for like five weeks and um, we at first taught them a few English like games and songs but then um, we worked with them on their Christmas production which is a bunch of a combination of uh, English and Italian Christmas songs 
and it was really cute. And every time we left, you kind of leave with a feeling that you did something bigger than yourself. And um, I don't know, I really enjoyed it personally. I was nervous before I, I got here about living with a host family because I didn't speak Italian and you know I'm only familiar with having my American family back home but the host family here they were so inviting and um, I just I felt really close to them and they wanted to share themselves with me and we really connected and they showed me around the town and talked about their past and what they've done here and they they feel like a second family to me. When you come here, you can quickly find out about the real life of the town. And we make an effort, from the point of view of um, Tuscania, uh, here to make sure that that integration is possible. A concrete example are the activities we offer students. I ran a theatre workshop here with students from the local high school, all Italian speakers, um, struggling with their first uh, uh, English and our American students here and those students from both sides found the learning experience very rewarding in this small town where most people know uh, who they are and who is walking down the street. That is a unique experience here in Tuscany. Oh, how holy and lovely it is to sit in that thing. Hallelujah! <laughs> Here we are again in front of San Pietro, wishing it wouldn't be our last, our last time. Our last time.